do want some? I'll give it you. You big fat holy bastard. Hey guys, Thog Dinero, welcome back to Game Week 16 Predictions. I'm with Thog Dad again. How are we doing? Doing great, Theo. The football is coming thick and fast. And last week, after eight games, Theo, I got a miserable five points there. I'm acting like a eunuch with these predictions. Yeah. Warren Barton got nine, Theo. Not, not Joey Barton. Joey Barton. Get me riled up. And Thogden got 10 points, Theo. And you know what? A promise is a promise because you said yep. that Villa would beat City. I'd like to present you with this bottle of oh, champagne. That's so kind of you. You were right. I was wrong. Now get on with this video. <laughs> Hi, Wolfstone Raider here. This is this week's predictions. They want some, they'll give it to them. Crystal Palace against Liverpool is 14th against second. Now, Crystal Palace, they lost at home yes. to Bournemouth. One point in four games. What do you think about Roy Hodgson? Is he going to stick around? Stinker. It wasn't a good appointment to bring him back in the first place. And I really think the club needs to make a decision now. Get him gone and find a new manager. You need to look into January and find new signings as well because Palace are not playing anywhere near we've seen of them in previous seasons. That is true, Theo. The problem has been goals. They've only scored 14 goals all season. Only Sheffield United have scored no, less. On. What do you expect, though, from selling Zaha? Okay, you've got Eze and Elise, but one of them's just come back from injury. Edward, yeah, he'll score wanna, a couple one week. No, no, you, won't. you don't oh, want to no. be Edward okay. right now because he's got 14 goals in the whole Premier League. It's a problem. Now, Liverpool, last time round, Sobersly and Virgil van Dijk got the goals against Sheffield yeah. United. Two points off the lead, Theo. Can they win the Premier League? After seeing City lose to Villa, this Premier League title race is up for anybody to take. I nearly went for 3-0, but I'm going to stick for two, and it could be a cricket score, this. It could, Theo. Jurgen Klopp has never lost at Selhurst Park. It's going to be Crystal Palace nil, Liverpool two. Mo Salah captain. Crystal Palace nil, Liverpool three. Wolverhampton Wanderers against Nottingham Forest. It's 13th against 16th. A little bit of a Midlands derby. Now Wolves finally got a win. Who did the damage there? Hwang in the face. What does that even mean? You just mean? got wanged in the face, Dad. Apparently I did. Now, Wolves, they needed that victory, didn't they, Theo? Do they go on and get two victories in a row? Yeah, I love Gary O'Neill. I think he's brilliant. He's got his tactics spot on. He got done by the officials at Fulham away. And since that day, they are bouncing back with points and points only. Dad, Nottingham Forest are finished. Steve Cooper, 5-0 loss. Terrible result. I actually respect the Forest fans for staying there and clapping because, my God, that is appalling. Do you think he's out the door soon? It's the hardest job in the world being a football manager. You get a few bad results, the board can click the big red button, and I think they're very close to it. One bad result here, and he's gone. And I can only back the Wolves. They look good, mm. and I think Huang will score again for my FPL team and go for a 2-0 win. This is going to be 2-1 to Wolves. Wolves, three, not a new Forest. New. Brighton and Hope yeah. Albion in 8th place against Come Burnley on. in 19th I got place. It right. The battle of the owners. Apparently, Theo, got it right. you got it right. With the Bright. I did speak to Tony Bloom and his son about whether Brighton would beat Brentford and I got it right. So, Thog Dad, I might have got some insight, some uh, yeah. ITK knowledge, but that's what people subscribe for. And I'm going to stop the video here and say smash the like button. Now, Burnley lost narrowly to Wolverhampton Wanderers, but they've only conceded one goal in three hours. But having said that, they've lost mm. 15 out of 19 Premier League games. Yeah, I think the Amex are starting to build some form. They're turning away that bad record. It's now seven games with only two Premier League wins, but I think they're about to get their third. You've got Mitoma ready to go. Evan Ferguson hungry. I'm sorry, Trafford. These sort of players I think are going to get past you at this stage. I'm going to go Brighton 2, Burnley 0. I reckon this will be a home win 2-1. Brighton 2, Burnley 1. Sheffield United against Brentford 20th against 11th. Theo, two teams yeah. who lost last game week. But can you tell me when these two teams last played in the top flight? Oh, you're going to have to go back some years, Dog Dad. I'm going to say 27 years ago. No, Theo, it was 1946 on Boxing Day. Oh so that's nearly days. 80 years ago. What is going to happen here, Theo? It's looking bleak, isn't it, for Sheffield United? Yeah, but they've got a new manager, Dad. Chris Wilder has entered the scene. Is that a great return? Is it going to work out? Well, it's going to take some time, Theo, because you look at the Sheffield United squad and it's a bit threadbare. Only one shot on target against Liverpool. It's a time for Brentford to clean up. You know, they were unlucky against Brighton. Only 2-1 defeat. They need to get another win on the road. And Buemo to score, 1-0 win. This could be a close one. This is an enormous opportunity for Sheffield. But I think Brentford are going to win it 2-1. Sheffield United, nil. Brentford, 
two. Manchester United against AFC Bournemouth, sixth against 15th. Yes. Yes. Two of the form teams of the league both won this game week. But can someone please explain Manchester United to me? Because away at Newcastle, they were atrocious. And against Chelsea, I mean, you were there, Theo. I thought they were brilliant. Yeah, dropping Marcus Rashford was the right decision. And as soon as the fans came into that ground, their point was clear. They make the decisions at this club and they sang Ten Hag's name before kickoff all the way to the final whistle. It's amazing because midweek through, they had a press conference and half the media was banned, weren't they? Yeah. And yet they were so confident against Chelsea. 28 shots on target and the boy from Lancaster, Theo, Scott McTominay. Set up by Garnacho, who, by the way, yeah. is an annoying player to watch because <laughs> if his finishing would better, he'd be on Ronaldo's level. But let's talk about Bournemouth, Theo, because 13 points in six games, 10 points in four games, yes. they are simply one of the form teams of the league. They're threatening to get into the top half. Iriola has got it right. Right, and his tactics are shining. It's going to take until one week when you get found out. And that's the speciality about the Premier League and what makes it better than all the other European leagues. It doesn't take long for other managers to find out the way you're going to play to intercept it and counter it. A tight game though, 2-1, and that winning goal, and you're going to hate me for saying it, Rasmus Hoyland, he is waiting to <laughs> just blow up in the Premier League. I kind of agree with you. Man United to win, 2-1. Man United, 2, Bournemouth, 0. Aston Villa against Arsenal, third Cracking against fixture. first, Theo. Two more of the form teams of the league. Now, Aston Villa, I can't believe this. 14 home wins in a row. They absolutely Unite. battered Man City. Unai, 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 Unai. Dad, they've gone above City. They're in a Premier League title race. Aston Villa fans said it. Rio Ferdinand called them delusional. I think they've got a chance. How do you stop them at home? It's very hard there because against Man City, it wasn't just a win. It was mm. 22 shots against two shots. They absolutely battered well, them. Well, it took till the final moment for Arsenal to beat Luton. 4-3, yeah. what a match that was. Are they really going to find a way this time at Villa away? A much harder fixture. Well set out. A great squad. And by the way, they think they can beat anyone at the moment. Manchester City, I knew that game would be an upset. I predicted 2-1. It was a one-goal difference and also a Villa win. Find me another pundit, including Joey Barton, who predicted that. All right, I may just be a YouTuber, but that's why I get called <laughs> up on the sky, Joey. You mug. This game will be absolutely superb. It, it will be. be Aston Villa 2, Arsenal Two. I said Villa would win the last time against City. You boys believed in me. And once again, Aston Villa 2, Arsenal 1. They're going to turn over the Gunners. The big run of the weekend. Aston Villa 2, Arsenal 2. Luton Town in 17th against Manchester so City in 4th. These are two teams who are struggling. Yes. But Luton Town, no clean sheets this season. But they scored three times against Arsenal, but surely, surely they can't beat City. They're going to have one more evening to rest and recuperate after that tough Arsenal 4-3. They fought so well, they played brilliantly, and they've got another game at Kenilworth Road. Surely this time, they can cause an upset, because City got beaten last time. They will not be looking forward to going into that North Area of London. They won't, Theo. Ross Barclay is performing, isn't he, for Luton? That is good to see, actually, because a few good. people had written him off. Manchester City, Theo, they haven't won in four games. What is going wrong? Well, Pep Guardiola, something changed in his interview last week where he said he was going to win the Premier League. Very weird. Maybe it's with all the stuff going on behind the scenes. He doesn't have confidence anymore. The 115 breaches, the fact that Everton have been punished and there is something coming for City. Nobody knows when that will hit, by the way. No manager has won four Premier Leagues in a row. It's never happened in history. I'm going to go Luton nil, Man City two. I'm still going Yeah, I'm sorry, Luton fans. I, I, I am kind of being hit hypocritical here. I'm going Luton 1, Man City 3. However, it could go either way. I, I will be watching this match. It's going to be a cracker. You're a eunuch, you are. Hey. Have Luton, you know the team with no fans? And then it's Man City, the team, the, uh, the riches in the world, or second riches after Newcastle. We have Luton nil, Man City four. That will give it to him. They want some, they will give it to him. Fulham against West Ham United, 12th against 9th. It's a tasty London derby. Yes. And the last 11 London derbies that Fulham have been involved in, they haven't won any of them, but they did wow. win 5 0 in midweek, didn't they, Theo? Yeah, Nottingham Forest dad, Steve Cooper, was fuming. Fulham are back, dad. They're scoring goals, they're playing well. 
You've got to back him again, surely. Well, I love the fact that Kearney scored against his boyhood club, didn't he? Iwobi's yeah. getting goals for the yes. first time. Jimenez, did you see that back heel? It was sweet. I say it's all Marco Silva. That is a passionate manager who's got his tactics right, and I don't think that momentum will be dropped for this game. Wow, Theo. Now, West Ham United play tonight, don't they? I mean, you'll know the yeah. score by the time you watch this video. Seven points in three games. West Ham have found some form. By the time you're watching this video, you will know West Ham's most recent result. But for the Fulham game, I'm still backing the Whites. The Cottagers are going to win 2-1. Do you know what? From watching Fulham recently, they play some lovely football. Very attacking, very creative. I'm going for a home win. 2-1. We agree. Fulham 2, West Ham 3. Everton against Chelsea is 18th against 10th. Here, but it over is. the last five games, Everton are in better form. I suppose without that 10-point deduction, they would be 14th. So mm. this is a really interesting encounter. Yeah, it's a tough call. Whenever you go to Goodison Park, you're going to receive the PL crop signs <laughs> and some noisy football fans. They're going to be passionate. And based off Chelsea's away performance at Old Trafford, I think Everton should be confident. They played pretty crap. It was good to see Cole Palmer scoring he's against United. He's always scoring. That man is brilliant. And it's the problem that he's the only man in that team we can really rely on right now. Do you know, I think Nico Jackson might get a goal before too long. But mm. um, this could be could be anything. But I'm going to go for a one-all draw. One-all draw as well. Everton one, Chelsea two. And last but not least, yes. it's Tottenham Hotspur against Newcastle United's fifth against seventh. And historically, Theo, this is one of the highest scoring fixtures in Premier League history. Now, Great Spurs, fixture. of course, a rotten record recently. One point in four games before that. That doesn't bode well. We know all about their injuries. And Newcastle, Theo, on the road in London, won four, drawn four of the last eight. Look back to last season, Newcastle did the double over Spurs. And I look at that injury list, and I look at how Newcastle are playing mm. recently. Won three of the last four. I reckon the Geordies are going to come away from London very happy. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. A 2-1 away win? 2-1 to Newcastle. I'm doing a thog dad here. <laughs> a 2-2. And last but not least, we have Spurs 2, Newcastle 2. 10,000 likes, guys. We are one big community. Really appreciate you watching this video. Dog dad, Thanks. pleasure. But you're not going to get 10,000 likes. You know why? Why? Because you're a eunuch. That's Sam. If you want Sam, I'll give it to you.